The Irish and Celtic Music Podcast, show number 564.
Welcome to the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast, helping you celebrate Celtic culture through music. I am Mark Gunn. I'm a musician, podcaster, and I want to introduce you to some amazing Celtic bands today. The artists in the show do need your support, which you can do by buying their music. You can find a link to all of the artists, along with showtimes and chapters for each song, when you visit our website at CelticMusicPodcast.com. You can also support this podcast on Patreon. So I am indeed back from Scotland. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things, and it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. Uh, it took me like a week just to get over the jet lag, which I, I really don't ever remember having over the past, you know, every I do these, these trips every year, and I don't remember having jet lag, and yet here I am with having jet lag. Um, so... Whatever. Um, <laughs> I had a great time. Uh, uh, hopefully I'll have some videos and pictures to share with you. I did do one video and that was a, a family video. So it includes Scotland, but also includes uh, Paris and Venice where uh, my family and I went after the uh, invasion. But we had a spectacular time in Scotland and I should have some stuff to share with you. I was hoping to have stuff to share with you during the trip and it just did not happen. And that was because of, uh, well, internet is sparse sometimes having, trying to log on and I don't have the patience and time to, to wait for it. I got to remember that some, you know, next time, but I never do, never do. In any case, we kicked off the show with Willows and Massimo Giutini from their album From Now On. That was The Flying Bull. Next up is Teda with a set of reels from their album As the Days Brighten. <laughs> Thank you. 
us with me to me a follow the little day dearly follow the little day Hear us with me to re a bottle little day, dearie, follow the little diary. Oh, I took his horse by the bridle and the bit, and I led it to the stable. Well, I took his horse by the bridle and the bit, and I led it to the stable. There's plenty of oats for a soldier's horse to eat if he is able with me to re a bottle little day, dearie, follow the little diary. Oh. Is able with me to be a father little day, dear and father little day, we I got up and I made the bed and I made it nice and easy. I got up and I made the bed and I made it nice and easy. Then I got up and I laid him down, saying, Lottie, are you able with me to be Father little day, dearie, father little diary, oh. There we lay till the break of day, and the devil or one did hear us. There we lay till the break of day, and the devil or one did hear us. Then I arose, put on my clothes, saying, Laddie, you must leave now. Quickly, go! To me, hey, father little day, dearie, father little diary, oh.
plants in her eye. For who beyond her gay green bar was awaiting her with joy? Oh, who but her gallant friend now died on the mountains of Pomeroy? And an outlawed man in a land forlorn, he scorned to turn and fly. But he kept the cause of freedom safe upon the mountains high. Full often in the dawning hour, full often in twilight brown, he met the maiden full blood and bound, but the spring comes foaming down. For they were faithful After Tata came Banshee in the kitchen with As I Robed Out from Band O'Shees. Then Jerry O'Connor with The Hulk and the Hair. That's from his album Last Night's Joy. After that came the Lilies of the West with the Mountains of Pomeroy from Flora. They, I do have a whole bunch of uh, new music that has been submitted to the podcast. Not a whole, not as much as I would like. I want some more. So if there's a band that you think should be on this podcast, uh, make sure you drop them an email or Contact me, and uh, I will contact them. Just send me whatever contact information you can for the bands, because I would really love to get some more bands on the show. And I got a, I got several over the the past month, but I, I need more. I need more. <laughs> 
All right. I want your feedback. What are you doing today while listening to the podcast? You can send a written comment along with a picture of what you're doing while listening. Email a voicemail message to KilticPodcast at gmail.com. Moira emailed, Geoguitch, I have been listening for several years now and thought I'd finally reach out to let you know what I'm doing while listening. Most of the time, I'm studying anatomy. The music itself is far more calming to me than most other genres because it reminds me of hot summers of my childhood dancing for Trinity Irish Dance at Irish Fests. No matter what, I always have paper and pen nearby to write down the names of the amazing musicians showcased on this podcast. Thanks for widening my Celtic music world and keep it up. Slan, uh, Moira, P.S. Thanks so much for pronouncing Celtic correctly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one of my few pet peeves. <laughs> I mean, I know, uh, you know, if you're, I think it is in, in Spain where the, the Celtica uh, comes in, but it's just about everywhere else. It's Celtica <laughs> but, or Celtic. Uh, we're not a basketball team. <laughs> but uh, Charlene Adzema emailed, Hey there, Mark. I'm Charlene Adzema, fiddler and singer with Wisconsin based all female Irish music trio, the Lilies of the West. As the pandemic seems to be waning, we've been reaching out to venues, festivals, radio shows, and podcasts to let folks know that we have an authentic energy and charming stage presence, and we'd like to get known outside of our small part of the Midwest. Our core instrumentation is fiddle, concertina, and mandolin, with the occasional guest guitarist or percussionist. With our Ohio-based guitarist, Rick Nelson, we've recorded a six-track EP called Flora, which we'd like to offer you to play on the podcast. Thanks so much. And uh, they sent that early on. So I was, of course, able to get them on the show, which is why you heard the Mountains of Pomeroy uh, by them earlier and uh, ending up that last set. So thank you so much for submitting music again. If there's anyone else has some new music, drop me a line. Peter Bingston emailed, Hi, Mark. I was walking and tried to get on Sirius XM. Something was wrong and I couldn't get on. I got on your podcast, episode 546, I think. Once that episode was over, another episode started. I listened to a total of four to five episodes. This works great for me. In the past, it seems that once the episode I listened to stopped, I had to go start a new episode of Celtic Music or start up Sirius XM. <laughs> Thanks so much, Peter, for sharing. And I know you've sent some uh, new pictures that I will have on the uh, show probably, hopefully next time. So stay tuned for that. So I have a brand new single out. The track is called Favor of a Dance. It's come from my upcoming album uh, that I think is going to be called Come Adventure With Me. I'm planning on doing a Kickstarter in August. But I re was really excited because I sent it to Vicky Swan and Johnny Dyer, and they laid some fantastic music on top of it. So a little bit of guitar and a little bit of a uh, flute, and just sounds so wonderful. And of course, then I have Jamie Hauser helping me out with some background vocals. So, uh, Without further ado, here is my song, Favor of a Dance. Hope you enjoy it. Favor of a dance 
days are more in 89 Steaming out of Kinsale across the brine The skipper leaned from the wheelhouse app Set out the nets behind the crab The doors were dropped and the nets sunk low The morning song made the boat sway glow We'll watch a needle chart the ocean floor An outline a wreck from the days of yore Fishing over the loose sea Captain turned her on the loose shot to bring her around Make for Kinsale and we'll run the ship aground The pilot cried, there's no answer from the helm But God, then she's bound for the watery realm Fishing over the loose sea There's the loose sea, we're over her now there is the stern and here is her bow Twelve miles out from Kinsale Head But boys, it fills this trial of men with dread The skipper lit a cigarette and said a little prayer For those that you twine, he would not spare From Kinsale Head, Lusitania was seen As her black hull lowered into the green Fishing ship on the shore there were cries she dove by the bow to where she now lies the message went out from kinsale's old head the queen of the seas was struck and now dead we hauled our nets toward that silent grave from whose icy clutches so few were saved twelve hundred souls slipped beneath the sea never to reach the liverpool king fishing over the sea There's no answer from the helm But God, then we're bound for the watery realm Fishing over the sea I had no thought for the fish we caught I felt the pain of loss from that torpedo shot When a trawler turned to steam toward shore I felt the horror that men call war In the nets that we pulled from the Celtic sea A porcelain cup just waiting for its tea Now sitting in a shrine in Kinsale Town From the day the Lusitania went down Fishing Shout it, bring her around Make for Kinsale and we'll run her heart aground But the pilot cried, there's no answer from the helm But God, then she's bound for the watery realm Fishing over the blue sea After Favor of a Dance came Jonathan Milton with Munster Buttermilk from Just One More, then Boston Blackthorn with Fishing Over the Lucy from a single that they released. All right, Ellen Gibling is a harpist based in Nova Scotia. She holds a degree in harp performance from McGill University and an MA in Irish Traditional Music Performance from the University of Limerick. I asked for stories to share on the show earlier this year, and Ellen uh, so kindly sent this story for you. You can find out more about her at ellengibling.ca. I'm Ellen Gibling. I play the harp, and I'll share with you today a little context about this set of three reels you're about to hear. 
like most sets of tunes, it's not just a mashup of melodies for me, but it's a very vivid collage of memories and imagery, as well as being a tribute to three people I admire a lot. Uh, the first tune is called The Cribbies, and it was written by the Newfoundland fiddler Colin Carrigan, who is a dear friend that I met in Halifax while playing at Irish sessions here. Colin tells me he wrote this tune while living off the grid and building fiddles in a tiny place called Tors Cove in Newfoundland. I've never been there, but I recently checked it out on Google Maps to try to get a sense of the place, and I discovered that the Cribbies is actually a stunningly beautiful meadow in Taurus Cove, and it has the claim to fame of being the most photographed meadow in Newfoundland, as well as being the world's best picnic spot. So I really liked discovering that, um, the idea that this meadow is not just a nice spot, but seemingly the objectively best meadow ever. And the second tune is called Vice Versa. It was written by the flute player Charlie Wilson, who's another friend from the Irish session scene here. She was born in England and now lives in this adorable house right on the banks of a woodland stream on the south shore of Nova Scotia. She is a boat builder, Aikido instructor, former clown and gymnast. Basically, she has every skill I could imagine. Anytime I've been down there to visit, it's been a cozy time sitting by the fire, watching the river go by sometimes uncomfortably close to the walls of the house, and blasting the latest interesting folk music that Charlie has immersed herself in on her massive speaker system. This particular tune, which is called Vice Versa, has influences from a blend of so many traditions that Charlie has delved into that it's definitely not a real, per se, but I love it and I think it has a home in this set, although perhaps not in the usual way. The final tune is written by Ryan Malloy, and he's an amazing piano player and composer who I was lucky enough to meet in Ireland when he coached an ensemble I was in at the University of Limerick. He was just a never-ending fountain of inspired arranging ideas and instincts. And this tune is called Louise is Real, and he recorded it with Fergal Scahill in 2019. Uh, that recording is the single most joyful recording I can think of, and it's the absolute best mood booster I came across during the early days of the pandemic. I must have listened to it over a hundred times while I was stuck in my apartment trying to figure out what the Zoom audio settings were supposed to be and how much music I could get away with playing without pushing my neighbors to their breaking point. So all three of these composers were extremely generous and supportive about letting me record and share their tunes. And I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea about where these tunes are from and how I came to learn them.
hope you enjoyed that story. Thank you so much, Ellen, for sending it in. And again, if you have a story that you would like to share for this podcast, particularly musicians, I like sharing the stories that match songs. So if you have a story to share, please drop me an email, CelticPodcast at gmail.com. I also want to send out a big thanks to our patrons of the podcast because of your kind and generous support. This show comes out uh, just about every week. Your generosity funds the creation, promotion, and production of the show. It allows us to attract new listeners and to help our community grow. A special thanks to our Celtic legends, Megan Walker, Dan McDade, Carol Burrill, Miranda Nelson, Nancy Barnett, Kevin Long, Linda McNeil, Annie Lorkowski, Travis Sinzaki, and Sean Kelly. Here is your three-step plan to support the podcast. Number one, go to song Songhinge.com. That takes you to our Patreon page. Number two, decide how much you want to pledge each week. $1, $5, $10, whatever you want. Make sure you cap how much you want to spend per month. And number three, keep listening to the Irish Celtic Music Podcast to celebrate Celtic culture through music. You can become a generous patron of the podcast on Patreon at Songhinge.com. Next up is Jocelyn Petit with Wind Rose from her same title album.
czar of a nation, but he missed coronation when the car broke down. Now he can't pay his taxes, cause he run out of matches to light a dear candle to write it all down. The lottery's full and it's two pounds a pull, but he never can seem to make change. And there's mad luck and bad luck And what well, I could have had luck And it's governed by blackguards In the hills far away And there's robbers and ruses And a thousand excuses For the hard life of Ivan McRae He don't have a cow But he knows of a grant That the state endows But he can't face the vicar Without any liquor And he can't buy the liquor If he don't pull the plow So he sits by the window And watches the sun go And nobody mentions his name And there's mad luck and bad luck And what I could have had luck And it's governed by blackguards In the hills far away And there's robbers and ruses And a thousand excuses For the hard life of Ivan The hard life of Ivan McCray Mad luck and bad luck And what I could have had luck And it's governed by blackguards In the hills far away And there's robbers and ruses And a thousand excuses For the hard life of Ivan The hard life of Ivan The hard life of Ivan
to the banks of Labrador She could use some paint and a couple new planks She was built in 84 But I know she's steady as a rock When the waves begin to roar No man could ask for more She's been around forever Half a century on the waves She'll slice the tide like apple pie And make a weak man Off the squid jigging grounds to the east of Jack's Fontaine But I know we'll soon be bound for the coast of Labrador For we're better off tired than poor Now we hear storms of rage off the cliffs of George's Cove We'll steam away for some light today Cause fortune favors the bold And now I'm alone by the way down this cold out of road In my heart After Jocelyn Petit came Barley Juice with Hard Life of Ivan McRae from The Morning After. Mary Grace Autumn Lee was after that with Autumn's Fall, a set of tunes from her album Ire, and we finished it up with Brad Tuck. He has a new album out called Stages, and that was Madeline's Might. I hope you enjoyed this week's show, and if you heard music you loved, then share the episode and tag an artist on social. Uh, include the showtime so you can also quickly, they can quickly listen. You can also tag a friend on social so we can keep building our community and help all the artists who generously share their music with you. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the Irish and Celtic Music Magazine. It's a quick and easy way to plug yourself into more great Celtic culture. Subscribe and get 34 Celtic MP3s for free. And also don't forget to vote in the Celtic Top 20. We're going to finish up the show with the Border Collies. This is an uh, older album of theirs, but I didn't have permission to play it, so I'm happy to finally get it. This is Carrick Nua is the track. The album is called Sticks and Stones. You can find a link to them in the show notes at CelticMusicPodcast.com. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. Slancha.
The Irish and Celtic Music Podcast was edited by Mitchell Peterson with graphics by Miranda Nelson Designs. The show is produced by Mark Gundy Kelpfather. Subscribe to your favorite podcatcher or on our website where you can become a patron of the podcast for as little as $1 per episode. Promote Celtic culture through music at CelticMusicPodcast.com.